Hey everybody, I wanted to do one last little bit of NAB content before I put this one to bed for, for the time being. And that is to kind of talk about what equipment I use to shoot things there at the show. I've had a few people actually ask me that and I thought if a handful of people are asking, there's probably a lot more that are curious that aren't speaking up. So I want to go through the equipment that I took and talk about a little bit about why I did what I did. Uh, but the overall arching theme for what I what I did is I wanted to keep things very simple. I didn't want to be lugging around a lot of big, heavy equipment. You know, you're on your feet for basically the entire day, aside from maybe a short lunch break. And it can get very tiring to carry a lot of heavy stuff around. So my goal was I wanted to take as little equipment as I can get away with, but still produce some high-quality content. And so that's kind of where... I headed and how I decided what equipment to bring. So first of all, let's talk, start talking about the camera itself. This is the camera that I use. This is a Sony PXW uh, Z90V. And this is basically the same internals as my big PXW Z150 cameras that I use. A few minor differences between them, but essentially the same optics, nearly identical image sensor, just great quality camera overall, high enough quality to basically be professional level, but in a very small compact camcorder size. And once you take the top handle off, which I did, it, it even looks less obtrusive and becomes that much easier to carry. Um, so started with just the base camera, nice and small. And for I didn't do it for this, but for a lot of other times when I want to be really unobtrusive, I'll take the front uh, lens hood off. And at that point, it just kind of looks like a big-ish consumer camcorder, even though it's truly a professional level tool. So so that was what I started with. So that was the camera that I, that I used. I took that with a few batteries, and I put two 256 gig uh, Lexar SD cards in it. And then from there, I needed to figure out what it's going to do for audio. So... One of the nice things about the Sony camcorders is they actually support communication with some wireless equipment via the hot shoe. So I was able to use my URX P03D receiver for my wire, it's wireless microphone receiver, along with its accompanying sled. And the nice thing about this one is it's actually two channels in one. So you can receive from two microphones simultaneously, and then all communication is done through the hot shoe. So I didn't have any cables to worry about. Also, I didn't have to worry about batteries either because the camera actually power powers the wireless system too. So, pop that on top, locked it down, pop the antennas up, and then the camera was complete. Didn't need anything else there. So, the other pieces to that equation were a couple of microphones. So, I've got the, uh, what's the model on this? UTX M40. Yeah, UTX M40 from Sony. This is designed to work with this as part of their UWP-D series. Uh, this is an older generation, and ironically, a month after I bought this, they came out with their new URX P41D, which is a much smaller dual-channel receiver that is part of this same generation of transmitters I'm using. And anyway, this is a cardioid microphone. Sounds pretty decent, uh, but yeah, it talks directly to the receiver. So, nice and easy. The other thing that I used was this UTX P40 transmitter. This is XLR, and you pop that onto the bottom of a microphone. And I, try, I tried to, and tested multiple different microphones before I left to see which ones had the best overall sound quality balanced with the best outside noise reduction, and that led me to using an SE Electronics V7 microphone. So this one did the best of any of the mics that I tested at rejecting outside sound while still having pretty good quality uh, for the pickup. So my voice sounded nice and nice and clear and you were able to hear me above the noise of the floor. So so that was it. So Z90 camera, the P03D receiver, the UTX M40 handheld microphone transmitter, and UTX P40 transmitter with the SE Electronics V7 microphone. The batteries on these two microphones actually lasted both days all the way through. I never had to change them. Nice relief there. Now, don't have to worry about carrying extra batteries for that, though I did have them if I needed them. 
and then again the receiver was actually powered by the camera so I didn't have to worry about batteries with that now I didn't actually do it but I did plan for being able to do a live stream from the floor and in order to do that I brought along my Teradek Video Go got some fingerprints there the Teradek Video Go and an SDI cable so I'd be able to take the SDI out from the camera go right into the SDI input on the Teradek this has a battery built in but I also brought a USB battery bank just in case and then to give this internet connection connection I used a couple of my ZTE modems or would have anyway because I didn't actually do any live streaming from the floor but I could just pop those into the USB ports on the side and that would give me dual cellular connection and that should provide adequate, adequate bandwidth for streaming and if I needed more I could certainly tether my phone, the phones of the, guy, the other two guys I was with, plus the two iPads that I that I actually had uh, with me, and that would provide way more than enough bandwidth in order to do a live stream. So again, I didn't actually end up doing it, but I had it just in case I decided to. So the entire live streaming rig would have consisted of this camera, those microphones, and the Teradek Video Go. So overall, I was able to travel very light, make mix being on your feet all day all day that much easier because you don't have a ton of weight on your back and it worked great you know produced very high quality results both visually and orally with the microphones high quality microphones there but uh but yeah that's it so i kept it very simple very you know very minimal uh and the results kind of speak for themselves it turned out really well i'm very happy with it so but yeah that's it so nice easy rig for documenting and reporting at NAB and I will likely do the same thing again in the future. It worked out really well and uh, I'm very happy with the results. So there it is. If you have any questions about this you can certainly leave those in the comments or join us over on Discord and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing for video production related content about once a week. So that's going to do it for now so thanks everybody for watching and have a fantastic day.